Thank you to our Patreon supporters of February 2021. Sarah P, a.k.a. Situational Daddy on Instagram. Paul and Sandy J. Elio, Nathan E. Jacqueline M. Matthew J. And Big Time Jim. Help support our show by going to patreon.com slash what we remember and pledging a monthly amount to help support the show. Thanks. My tum tum is hurting. You got? Did you? Brad's over here. Yeah. Forgot to eat. Oh, oh, were you hoping bye. we were gonna have chips tonight? <laughs> was that what? That's what he relies on. That's his... <laughs> is that your sustenance? He's or... like one night a week. I don't have one to buy chip, a dinner, please. make a dinner. I just have chips. Please, sir, can I have a chip? <laughs> well, we'll see how fast we get through this one, or how furious we get through this one. Yeah. Oh, I'm furious already, and I'm fast. <laughs> Mr. Furious <laughs> from Mystery Men, episode uh, 17. That's true. With That's James true. Phillips. Mm -hmm. My name is Bradley Jones. My name is Andrew Moldenhauer. I'm Andy Hubert. And this is not a movie review podcast, but it's a podcast where we try to remember what happened in a movie that we haven't seen in a very, very long time. And this is what we remember about Fast and the Furious. Were there two or three bad guys in Home Alone? And who was that forgetful fish in Finding Nemo? Join us as we're watching films. See what we remember and what memories we kill. Let's start the show. Here we go. This is what we remember. Like is it the Fast and the Furious? I think it is. The I think Fast it's just Fast and the Furious. And the Furious. I think there's no the. I think, I think they is lose it a the double the, the or is it a single the? That's a good the question. the Fast and the the Furious. <laughs> I guess maybe it could have the the on it. Ah, that's a good question. Well, because isn't, isn't there a, one of them later on that is like it's the too Fast, Fast and the Furious? Oh, Fast the there's Fast Furious. The Fate of the Furious. What's the fourth one? That's the eighth the fate? one. There's fa there's what's fa the Fast and Furious? Too Fast, Too Furious. Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. I mean, it's called Fast Furious for the fourth one. Four Fast. Yes. <laughs> Wait. Yes. Or is it just Fast and Furious? I think it's called, I think it's called Fast and Furious. One of them is called Fast and Furious. One is called, called Fast, and, Fast and the Furious, I think. Mm. It's a good question. And then, is, and then the is, fifth is, one, the fifth one is just the. Fast Five, which yeah. I, I is the best one, and I love that title. That's a good name. <laughs> and then The Fate of the Furious, I think. That's number eight, I think. It? Yeah, we're up to eight. So we we're know, missing six, six and, seven. and seven. I mean, it's it exists. We just One can't see it. It's probably Fast and Furious six. They won't let us <laughs> see be. eight. Eight's gonna come. Nine's gonna come out before eight does. I think be. eight came out. Did it? No, well, nine's uh, coming. Out. Maybe nine's coming. Oh yeah, nine's coming out, and nine's ten coming is out. already in pre-production. I bet it's already. I thought nine. it was fate because it's like F eight. Ten. Oh yeah. Mm. So what's the ninth one called? Fine. Uh, honestly, it, I like. <laughs> fine. My understanding is that it's either Fast Nine or just F Nine. Like, F nine. I think it's just F Nine. <laughs> if you press F Nine on your keyboard, yeah, what's that do? Full screen? Is that full screen? No, F Five full screen. F Eleven, I think, is full screen. No, F Eleven. What's F Nine? Uh, that's how you get in your BIOS when you're booting. You're like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. that's true. Mm, okay, that's <laughs> how you uh, add the nitrous into your computer. Ooh, yeah, there Ooh, you go. go Bring it back to the movie. I see what you did <laughs> too there. soon. I feel like too we should soon, give Andy serious. Hubert the honor of saying who's in the. Film. Yeah, we should actually. You think because he That'd loves be this film. The film. He loves this film. This film's all right. <laughs> no. Shut Brad up. Just, Brad just said you love this you film shut twice. shut up. You love this series. Oh, I love he this franchise. He literally put his finger on his other finger, so he's got points. I love this franchise to death. This, I think, is my fourth favorite Fast and Furious movie. Four Fast? <laughs> four Furious? Because, <laughs> uh, no. Because this is ranked four Fast. <laughs> number two, I think, I think Fast Five is my number two. That's the movie that really actually was like, hey, this franchise is good, and we should keep making ten more of these movies. But uh -huh. Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift will always be my favorite, even though it's not <laughs> your <necessarily> favorite. <laughs> my Fast and Furious favorite. <laughs> no, that one's that one will always be my 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 favorite movie. It's not. It's absolutely. Okay. Not Does that okay. guy ever show back up in the other films? In the in he's coming back in Fast Nine. This is he's okay. finally back. What? He was busy doing NCIS uh, New Orleans for a long time. I meant the main in, character. In, in, oh, uh, in Tokyo Drift. In Tokyo Drift. Yes, the white guy. Yeah, he's oh, coming okay. back in Fast Nine. Can I know the other guy is back? Han. Even is, though you thought he was dead, he's my favorite character forever, and uh -huh. he's yeah, he's coming back in the new one. Han's the best character in the entire franchise. 
Even more so than The Rock? Mm, more so than yes, Jason Statham. Yes, oh, but I do think The Rock in Fast Five is like just the best role The Rock has ever done. I think that's like him at his peak of everything that he is in terms of like that's what to a film. Brought is, it all to exactly the surface that. for The Rock, mm. yeah. Yeah. Mm. Are you saying Paul Walker's dead to you? Ooh. No, no. Is that a deletable moment? Oh, no, 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 no. no all no, of no. us. Uh, <laughs> I Andy, mean, we've talked about Paul Walker. We talked about Paul Walker and Joyride. Andy Hubert loves a man with some sort of automotion or car in his name. We got Paul Walker. We're we got Adam man. Driver. Yeah. Tom Cruise. Diesel's, Vin Diesel's pretty good. And then Vin good. Diesel's in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scott Speedman. Uh, 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 <laughs> a Richard Jetski. Van Halen. <laughs> <laughs> the Cars. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm starting to, uh, to Jeff- really <laughs> sense who Andy is. Jefferson Jet Lee, Starship. Jet Li <laughs> counts. Yeah, he counts. It's he does. true. That's true. <laughs> but this is the movie that kicked it all off. It did. This came out, what, 2001? I think 2001. Yeah. Oh, man. And it and feels it feels every inch of this movie feels mm-hmm. two thousand one. It feels like watching a rap video. Because I can tell well, you, the central like the plot of the movie is about people hijacking trucks full of DVD players. Whoa! Oh, right. That's a high ticket item back then. So Paul Walker is a police officer. Yeah, cop. He goes undercover in Brother. the uh, high speed. Uh, world of race car race street race street, street racing, racing which is like a the big underground street yeah. racing need for speed underground which is a big money making like criminal thing that keeps happening i don't even sure, know what you goes bet on, on it movie. yeah it's a betting oh, yeah. it's gambling. illegal gambling yeah and there's a and whole culture whole car culture yeah there's a whole call culture a macaulay culture a macaulay culture macaulay car culture is that what his fan club is and there's just like people who like put a bunch of money into their cars to like supercharge my brother them was a part and... of this group oh yeah he had a yeah. he had a crazy well, actually, mustang still is mm-hmm. yeah he 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 has a mustang that he races yeah and he put in a roll cage and All I know is you get like a Honda everything. or some. There's like some specific car that you get. That I mean, you can just Honda like, Civic was like the, the iconic Honda Civic is the one you can just like mix and match parts and you, yeah, you could change every single thing and, out of that. But there's like Suzuki's or something like that. I bet or I mean, I can tell you like all the cars in the movie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, like the, I think the movie actually opens. <laughs> you saw what I saw, right? The glimmer, the little glint yeah. in his eye. Yeah, he didn't even look at us when he said that. He yeah. was just like, it was like when Judge Reinhold saw head. Santa Claus. Yeah. He, he the looked same up look. into his own brain. <laughs> we didn't, well, we didn't, well, I could tell you all the cars that are I was in the movie. Uh, should we cover who's in the movie? We didn't actually cover who's in the movie. Jordana so, Brewster. So, so they're driving what? A Ford Fiesta and then a Dodge Ram? The Ford Fiesta didn't even exist yet, Andy. And then they're also driving the Camaro. Michelle Rodriguez. Michelle Rodriguez is oh, in yeah. this. Yeah, we should talk yeah, about Yeah, Vin Diesel's in this. Um, the the other girl's pretty too. Jordana Brewster. Yeah, Jordana Brewster. Oh, she's gorgeous. Uh, the, the guy who plays uh, Rusty Nail. Uh, the he, guy that plays Rusty Nail mm-hmm. uh, is the police chief. Oh, the captain. Who is okay. like, He's Paul Walker. Silence boss. of the Lambs. Yeah, name? Silence of the Lambs guy. Who I feel bad because oh, cause, oh uh, at, uh, Ted Levine. Mm. Yes. Um, yeah, he plays like the police captain. Okay. Obviously, we have Paul Walker as Paul Walker. Because this is basically his life. Would you race me? I'd <laughs> race, race me. me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. I'm trying to think of who plays like... Yeah, who are the buddies? Doesn't Vin Diesel have like a whole crew? He does. He's got a crew. Uh, there's like... There's a- the Asian one? There's like the dude on the crew that doesn't like Paul Walker the whole movie. There's like the dude who runs the auto parts shop that everyone shops at. Who Like I feel like it's probably a cameo of someone that's in the car community or something. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh boy, no, um, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the leader guy of the of like the rival car gang who are who they're like the Yakuza car gang. Uh, he's he's been in a ton of movies. I can't remember the actor's name, but he's in a lot of like a lot of stuff. I think he's Johnny Tran is the character's name. Hmm. No, I'm not remembering this. No. To be honest with you, Too Fast, Too Furious is more my speed. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa! That, 
I see Too Fast, Too there. Furious is one Isn't of... Isn't it sort of the same film, but is Vin Diesel's a good guy now? Well, he's sort Isn't of a good that... guy. Well, but... That's the whole idea of, like, the series is, like, there's a bad guy, then he's a good there's guy. There's, like, uh... There's a bad guy, then he's a good guy. Well, yes, but, I mean, really, Too oh, Fast, Too Ty- Furious Tyrese is, is truly it? about the love story is between Tyrese not Paul Walker one? and Tyrese. He is not. He is introduced in two. He's in the second Interesting. one. Interesting. And, it, it, like, he is plays... Ludacris like a, in it, yes. too? That's where they introduce Ludacris He's in the as second well. one as well. He's really good. He's in the very opening scene, too, I think. You mean Chris Bridges? Chris Bridges. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. I know who you're yeah, talking yeah. about. Yep. There yep. You go. yep. Yeah. You might know him from Crash. I've never heard Which of that. Which is what happened. It's a sequel to that this is. movie. <laughs> Dave Matthews Band song? <laughs> <laughs> oh. But this movie, I think, opens with uh, uh, the truck jacking. And it's like truck just driving down the highway and then like four crazy tricked out cars that are all like the same. Oh, man. And they're like driving under. They drive the truck. under the truck. They surround the truck. They shoot like a crazy, like grappling gun onto it, and someone jumps in and like makes the dude, like the truck driver, stop the truck, and then they just like take the loot. I, don't, I think they kick him out and just steal the truck. They steal like the whole truck. Full How of much of this movie is either looking at a car, being in a car? Uh, and then how much is just like people talking like standing i feel like it's got to be like 50 50 almost. it's 60 like 40 50 percent of this movie is is people driving cars 40 mm-hmm. percent of the rest of the movie is vin diesel talking about family and then 10 percent <laughs> of the movie is the actual plot of stealing dvd players we get a lot of close-ups of people like shifting gears more than oh, they probably yeah. need to oh, we'll talk right. about the shot okay we'll get there <laughs> we'll get there the shot the shot but i think that's where it starts and then it immediately cuts to like a police raid on a house in like beverly hills or some really nice kind of malibu looking house so we get introduced by paul walker being just like he's like a, a regular a, dude a cop like yeah. Yeah. yeah he's like on this assault team busting in this place and he gets the like fresh off a of joyride yeah like they shot these that's almost true. simultaneously i think it's it's kind of weird but it's a good start he like immediately as, as soon as this assaults are i think the the captain guy is just like we just got another. We got we got a report. Another truck got robbed, and I need you to go undercover, brother. And, yeah, and he goes. You, to, you made that joke during the Beverly Hills Cop, also, or maybe just uh, this I one. Just I keep made doing that joke it. like just keep doing it. Okay, it's every, every time. This episode two. Every time. Do it every time. <laughs> no, the same episode. All you have to do is go back. Five We're gonna minutes. have to watch Undercover Brother. And you make it, you're like subliminally telling us that's the next movie <laughs> you want to do. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. And I think he gets, like, all the info on... They, they think it's Vin Diesel's character, like uh, Dom Toretto. And his crew are the ones that they suspect of doing it. So he's supposed to go undercover and infiltrate this gang. Does he try and to, like, they, join they give up? They a car, right? Yeah, he goes, oh, to, like, he gets the, a nice he goes car. to the police He gets a green car. And, yeah, he, it's a Mitsubishi Eclipse. He's got to look okay. the part. And, yeah, he, like, tunes it. There's some bits of him, like, practicing driving in it. And like just having a grand old time, having fun. He's got the he's got the high tech setup. Like so, Vin Diesel's thing is he's all about like mechanical c- muscle car stuff. And then mm-hmm. Paul Walker's like has a laptop in his car that he's like in the middle of the race is like click clacking on the keys and like gotta tell it to go faster. Click click click. Well, isn't it all about the the nitrous or whatever? It's like it's you gotta a have like a it. nitrous part system of set up. And just and using that some, does, doesn't that. Ruin your car CGI. just by using that I mean, stuff. It puts additional stress on your engine. It's, you you want to have an engine that's designed to take that kind of pressure. I from think they the show end. like when he's driving it too, like the underneath of the cars. Like that's part of the shot. starting to fall apart. Yeah, like, there's a screw there's a that's famous, coming loose. There's a famous bit where like his laptop flashes like danger to manifold, which is a piece of the engine, and then the bottom floor of the passenger wheel well just falls out, and they're like, that was the manifold. <laughs> yeah. Like, Wait a minute. That's just a floor. There's some what bad CGI too when they show like the nitrous being engaged. Yeah, you, that's you the like, shot. He, he hits like, the button. It's like uh, and you get the fight crazy club. fly through of the engine. The opening of Fight Club fire. where it's like the gun and the nose. Yes, and stuff. it is it, like that. You're like coursing through the whole system. You fly through the entire like, engine and out the back. Yeah. When he hits that nitrous. It's like the magic school. But bus. it looks bad for 2001. Yeah. Or but maybe he, good so yeah, he shows up at like the this street race, just shows right up. So I imagine that Vin Diesel doesn't trust him right from the get go. Oh no, like he's a late entry. So at this does race, anybody like speak up for him, or how does he like get the attention? Does I don't he think win anybody a race? Vouches for him. He just straight up wins a race. I bet or gets really good in one. I, he offers well because everyone for this race throws in like ten grand. Like it's like ten thousand dollars to that you pay to be in the race, and the winner takes all. Paul Walker shows up. He doesn't have ten grand, but he puts up the pink slip to his car. He's like, whoever wins oh. gets my. 
my car and the car is pretty nice. So even though they never heard of this dude, everyone's like, and I think they're all kind of like, oh, easy Mark. He's an idiot who doesn't know better. So they like let him race with them. And we get like this sort of introduction to all the people racing in this thing. I'm trying to remember who the other, I think there's another rapper. That's one of the other race car drivers is another hip hop artist too. And it's, like he's got this girl who's like you better win or i'm leaving you forever oh is it fat joe (laughs) (laughs) i have no idea but yeah we get the the very first race and it's funny because this is sort of the progression of the entire series like the very first race is like legit just a straight line drag race style thing is it just go as fast as you can just go as fast as you can a straight line that's it no turns Really? I thought they were racing on the street. Or is that They do, later. eventually. And in, like, Too Fast, Too Furious is a lot more of the street racing stuff. And then, you know, by Fast Five, they're drifting through the streets of Brazil with a safe, mm-hmm. a bank vault behind them. See, when I think of people doing, like, drag racing, I'm thinking, like, the 50s. I'm thinking, like, Greece. I'm, like, people just going hot rodding. Yeah. But now it's all, this is just a modernized you're, you're, version of uh, hot rod. Rebel get to without the, a car. We got to get to the end of the movie. And that's when Vin Diesel breaks out his like, Does he get 70s an old classic charger car? Yeah. with the huge supercharger thing on the front. Um, but yeah, they just have a straight line race. Everyone's like, they're, they're, a lot of shots of the slamming the gear shifter, you get the fly through the car. Can you understand Vin Diesel without turning subtitles on? Ooh, in this that's film? a good question. <laughs> I honestly couldn't. Tell no him. one will be able to answer. I can that. imagine him like in like a garage and he's like working on something. So there's also like the noise of like cars and things, but he's also like trying to do his Vin Diesel mumbly voice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Might, I might have to watch this. Might with be. I would recommend it. Hey. I've never <laughs> seen you. It's all about so so family. That's my dad. He's coming up in the pro stock car circuit. Last race of the season. Uh, a guy named Kenny Linder came up from inside on the final turn and clipped his bumper and put him into the wall at 120. Um, I watched my dad burn to death. I remembered hearing him scream. But the people that were there said that he had died before the tanks blew. said it was me who was screaming. I saw Linda about a week later. I had a wrench. And I hit him. And I didn't intend to keep hitting him, but by the time I was done, I couldn't lift my arms. He's a janitor at a high school. Has to take the bus to work every day. And they banned me from the tracks for life. So that was great, Vin. The course of the race, Good. like all so the who cars are, by. So who are it. Jordana Brewster is his sister? Yes. Vin and Diesel's sister. Yep. Michelle Rodriguez is a love Girlfriend. interest. Were they already yes. dating? Did they, were they on the outs? I think. Or are they broken they're, up? They're like, I are mean, they're, I don't think they're like they're super like serious, family. but they are a, a couple. <laughs> they're like family. <laughs> <laughs> they're like family. <laughs> family. Oh, dear. It's family. <laughs> Oh, and there's, there's, other uh, guys. there's the nerd guy. Uh, Do either of the girls race? Yeah. Do the girls race in this? Or Michelle there? Rodriguez uh, She's a does. racer. She's okay. a racer. The other girl's Jordana like, Brewster uh, is not. She's yeah. just the sister. She's, she's like the, the girl. She's the eye girl. candy she's the family Paul part Walker of the family. Yeah. Basically. Her, I love her, her and Paul Dad, you Walker don't understand. have yeah. a thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, and, then, and, and they probably have a fallout well, and they have a right. rekindle of it. So the other dude in the gang that's not the nerd guy is mad because he also likes Jordana Brewster and is upset that Brian's moving in on his turf. So they have this race. Uh, here's where Paul Walker hits the nitrous too early and zooms past Vin Diesel. And Vin Diesel's like, too early. <laughs> and then he hits his own nitrous and wins the race. And Paul Walker's like car explodes. Not really. The engine blows up, basically. So he gets to the end. And it's actually kind of funny because he gets to the end. I, like Paul Walker's just like excited to have done the race. <laughs> so he doesn't even care that he lost. He's like, oh. they had the, that was a lot of fun. I almost had you. I went real and fast, Vin Diesel's guys. just like, you never had me. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And every, all the crowd's going bonkers. Yeah. But this is sort of like, so the idea is he was supposed to, you know, give him the car, but the car is toast. And so Vin Diesel's like, you owe me a car. So I expect you to like show up and start working on a new car or something with me. This so is you. like a Godfather moment. Like, kind of. Do uh, You owe me something. Yeah. 
you know, so I'm going to yeah, oh, make me. it pay up. Mm-hmm. And his cover is that he works, uh, Paul Walker's cover is that he works at the car parts shop that everyone uses, like this performance car guy's shop. And like, I think that was sort of who vouched, that might be who vouched for him to kind of get into this race is like the, they're like, oh no, he's all right. He works for the, the, the dude we all buy our stuff from. But yeah, that's how he gets in. So he like shows up at their place like the next day or whatever to figure out. And how to is Vin Diesel like always like suspicious? Like is he like something that's not quite up with this guy, or is he does does he get one over pretty fast? Uh, I, I think he's. I mean, he seems a little suspicious. The other dude is very suspicious, but he, th- he thinks maybe like the whole thing was like them in cahoots against him yeah i don't know if it's like he thinks that it's it's in cahoots or if it's just out of jealousy because he doesn't like this outsider guy kind of moving in into his spot in the gang almost and does vin diesel have like pride in the street racing or like the uh the culture and he's mad about like the other dude stealing the dvds and that's what's like because it's not vin vin isn't the actual criminal right so you you think he is you but think then he, he is and then they reveal he's not, but then they reveal that he was the whole time. It's oh. a double flip. It's a double flip. That's the furious part. Yeah, that's I'm why so mad so, about it still. Because that's part of the thing is that like he played the reverse Uno card. Yeah. That bastard. <laughs> but yeah, so the more that like he's <laughs> embedding himself in the gang and the family, like he's looking for any indications that they're stealing this stuff or like doing this. He can't. He doesn't see any evidence that they're doing this. They live in like this kind of rundown house. Like, the, yeah, they buy like nice car parts, but that's like it. That's it doesn't seem like there's anything fishy going on. You think this movie would be more about like chop shop stuff as like the criminal plan or well that's the um, car parts things happen don't they else. have that the the evil gang the yakuza gang is sort of like so he paul walker thinks starts to think that that's the guys that have been stealing the dvds so he like breaks into like their place and their place i think is like a chop shop like they break in and they see all these cars in there and all these boxes uh he sees like dvd players in this garage and he's like aha i've got them do Paul and Vin work together, or is it kind of just Paul doing his own thing? Um, I think it's just Paul Walker doing that part. He might be. He might do it with Vin Diesel. He might break into their garage to like sabotage them because we got to get to race wars. Race wars. Race, race wars. wars. Yeah, and it's not the horrible civil war of the country that you might think oh, of. It okay, in the thank climate. God. <laughs> the, there's... I didn't, and now I do. <laughs> <laughs> so there, apparently, there, there's like I, this... I thought like like uh, what's that movie that's like terrible but amazing at the same Death Race two thousand. Oh, I love that movie. Oh, <laughs> I almost suggested doing that movie. Which one? You got to talk the original or the one with Jason Statham? Remember that oh, ending God. being like that's the ending. That's not what that I expected. Yep. Where's the where's the, where's the wacky races hijinks in this film? Yeah, Death Race two thousand is well. Bonkers. That's like Mad 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 Mad. That's World. with uh, David Carradine, I think. Is yeah, the, and Sly Stallone. Is Frankenstein. Yeah, man, I want to rewatch that the movie. Oh, well, you got to watch this remake with. Uh, I've watched the remake. I've watched I've watched Death Race four recently. Oh dear lord, <laughs> there's that many. Oh yeah, Death Ra- and okay, like that remade. Re- with, it's um, it's the fourth sequel. It's Jason to, to the remake. Yeah, the, there's. Jason Statham was the the remake. Then they did like two more, you know, pretend actors of all the main people in the next ones. Dang. The fourth, the one, Death Race remake movie was the only was not only it was the first movie I saw alone. Oh, I went to a theater just to no see, that. see that. No one, one wanted to go with. Me. I think I saw that one alone too. <laughs> Maybe we were in we the same gone theater. Together. Yeah. yeah, you were up there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. That's funny. No, the fourth one's not bad. I actually recommend it. It's on Netflix. It's one of their like direct to Netflix like. Does Batista show up film. in that one? Feels no, like but they would. have this dude who I think w- at one point was like a semi pro wrestler. He's been in a bunch of these like weird knockoff action sequel movies that Netflix has been producing. He looks like a super buff Adam Driver. Whoa! Like, did the table just get hit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Andy! He's like a huge dude. Stop but. lifting the table up. <clears throat> <clears throat> Give me a minute. <clears throat> <laughs> That's a bit. Try to do a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, it's it's it, yeah, look. If it's a car movie, I'll watch it. What about Cars oh. and Cars Two and Cars Three? I actually have not seen Cars Two. I've seen one and three. There's a third. How'd you miss the second one? That seems like a third one's good. But maybe it's the second, second one. Second one, I didn't know. watch it because Larry the Cable Guy is the main character, <laughs> oh, I mean, and I did not want to watch a whole movie about Mater. And then there's this weird eugenic subtext to the movie. I found out, and it's like I don't. I have no desire to see that movie. No, it's okay. They're cars. <laughs> <laughs> 
Planes? Are they it's planes weird. Well, the the, the whole car series, like, it's all about like the like the lemon cars, like you know, cars so that were just defective. You haven't seen it. And how like these defective cars you read, you read the struggle to yeah. get into the in, into society, and like this faction of the the lemon cars are become terrorists. It's ooh, it's weird. Maybe mm. it's the story of uh, Fast and Furious, but just told with animated cars. It could be. And Paul <laughs> None Walker of us has seen Steve, it. So Steve it might McQueen. be. It might be. So Paul Walker is probably having like back and forth, like talking to his police chief or reporting. Yep. You're getting too deep kind of stuff You're happening. Too close to getting Jordana close to Brewster. I know what's going on yeah. here. And he probably wants to like either you find evidence or we're going to pull the plug. And it's like, just give me more time. Well, and he starts again. Yeah, he's trying to convince <laughs> the chief that it's not. I just need a little yeah. bit more time. <laughs> he's trying to convince the chief that it's not Dom. And Dom, the chief is like, it definitely is. You are just banging Jordana Brewster. So you don't want to say it is. And he's like, no, it's Johnny Tran. But then it is. And then they bust Johnny Tran and they're like, his garage. Yes, it had DVD players in it. And he straight up bought those things. Like he spent money on them. They weren't stolen. And he's like, uh oh! What does a DVD player cost in two thousand one? We should look that up. Two hundred something. Part two. So he's getting too close to the case. He pulled the wrong man in. Yeah, they busted the Tran family, uh-huh. and the police are embarrassed because it wasn't them. Does he get pulled off the case? Then he's got to get out of there. And then he's like, no. Then he ends up like staying with. They basically Dom. tell him like, you need to either either you give us Toretto now, or yeah, we're just gonna pull you out, and and you're just gonna be relegated to doing the police. But they're buds now. He doesn't want to turn his friend in. He's also, yeah, he's also true. Bing Bong and his sister. Yeah, and they've been building this car oh. together throughout the movie, this new this Toyota Super with the nerdy guy. And so this, we get to like the crisis point. I the, remember this. The, like there's a sequence where he has to tell Vin Diesel that he's a cop. Yes, yeah. So that's and the yeah. So it's coming up a little bit. I bet Vin Diesel already knows. So they right? have. I don't think no, so. No, he doesn't until... No, no, no. this is a he surprise, Yeah, actually. it's a surprise, and they, the, the reveal is well done. So they have... They go on a, the, they're in the car together, they're driving together, and Vin Diesel, I think, is driving. They go to... Well, they go to Race Wars, which is like Burning Man for car guys, apparently. Okay. Like, they so they at this old airstrip in the desert, all the street racers from everywhere gather, and then they race all day long for like a week. Cool. And the nerdy guy enters his... Jetta is like Volkswagen Jetta against the Johnny Tran, the bad, the leader of the bad gang. <laughs> and Tran. and like, there's this big deal, like where like the car belonged to the kid, like the dude's dad. And like, so he puts up the pink stuff. He's just like, don't worry. Like based on the math, he, there's no way the other guy can win. And Paul Walker's oh, like, no. no, he put a new engine in the car. It's faster than you think, but it's too late. And they oh. do the race and he loses. Does he die? He, Does his car explode? He dri- oh, He just like yeah. he loses he, the race. He, and he never just comes keeps back. Yeah, he, he just, just keeps drives driving. away. And so that Johnny Tran walks up to Vin Diesel and is like, "You better get me that car before He's I having, find like, him." A moment of crisis. And so they all leave to go like try and like talk him off a ledge. The the nerdy guy because he just lost his dad's car, and like the the reveal is so that like they find him at Dom's house and they're like talking to him and like as they're talking to him like. Johnny Trans dudes pull up and like shoot him with machine guns. They just like open up on like the whole area and they shoot him. The everyone else I think is fine. It's just the nerdy guy that gets shot. During the shootout would be a good time to confess that you're a police officer. Well, that's what so he runs so they're like, "Oh my god, he's been shot." And that's just where Paul Walker calls 911 and he says, "This is officer so and so. Like I need an ambulance now." I like to get it there that even faster. And Vin Diesel just looks at him. He busts his cover to get faster medical attention. And more furious medical attention. <laughs> you, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> paramedics, don't you turn on me. <laughs> uh, but doesn't Vin take him out on a trip? He's like, get in the car. And you think like something's going to happen. Yeah, I th- well, uh, there's a uh, somehow they get to the point where like they have a confrontation basically where Vin Diesel's like talking about how he like beat a dude to death with a wrench at some oh, point. Oh, dear. Like it, when he was younger, like that's where he like how he ended up with a record and like didn't like where his life sort of went off the rails or something. He was like Reginald Vell Johnson and die hard. Something I, about that. I, did, I didn't know it was, it was a, it was a real wrench. It looked real enough. I hit that kid so hard oh, with that man. wrench. I murdered him. I murdered <laughs> that kid with that wrench. What? <laughs> I don't know. If Vin's oh, man. You know what? Like that. I might have it wrong about what the, I don't know. The reveal is, is right in terms of why he reveals that he's a cop is because someone gets hurt. But there's a heist goes wrong. So Vin Diesel's crew tries to pull off another heist. And at this point, a bunch of truckers are like carrying shotguns now because all these trucks have been getting hijacked. 
So like while they're like whoever is climbing on the truck gets like shot in the leg or something. Ooh. And like the high school's wrong, like they crash like their cars or something, and like Paul Walker maybe shows up and like that's when he calls it in. That's when they know he's a cop, maybe. It's okay. it's one of those. There's two three moments. or four times where he could have been confessed that he was a yes. cop. Yes, I'm a here. cop. Oh, I shouldn't have said it yet. Uh, damn, <laughs> five, yeah. five minutes into the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at the detective stuff. <laughs> he pulls out his wallet to pay for something. A, a badge falls out. <laughs> oh, 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 uh, uh, you didn't see that. <laughs> his handcuffs fall out of the back of his pocket. It's like, uh, he like shows up at Dom's house. <laughs> his police the uniform. He's yeah. just like, oh, gosh, I forgot to change. <laughs> Uh, you're bad at this. You're the worst undercover cop of all time. <laughs> you're also John Candy? What the hell? Is, what? Wow. <laughs> also the best undercover cop. Damn. I never knew Paul Walker was John Candy. Very impressive. It's just a whole lot of Mission Impossible yeah. face ripoffs. <laughs> right. Uh, let's get to he the was end. Harry Crumb all along. Let's get to the end of this thing. Sure, yeah, end, put it to bed. The end is like Vin because Diesel takes everyone off. gets away and everyone's okay with each other. And Jordana, they all have their breakup moment and they all come back for like one big heist or one big thing. Yeah, well, like there's like the 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 ending is, it has like the Vin Diesel takes off in his '70s like Charger that like belonged to his dad that, that he's been working on for years. And Paul Walker takes off after him in his Supra, and they have this bit where he's like trying to like tell Dom to just surrender. He's like, just, just, uh, just totally let us arrest you. Don't worry about it. And they have like one last race at like a stoplight where like Dom floors it, and they're like flying down. His car does this crazy wheelie, and then I'm trying to remember if they they there's a like a train coming. And they're like, we're not going to make it. But they do make it. They both manage to jump in front of the train. They're both like, oh, wow, we made it. And then a car like T-Bones Vin Diesel. Oh, my gosh. And just like hits his car. His car goes flying, does like 20 flips and like and crashes. Then he, then he never showed up to a seagull because he died in this one. Yeah, and, he's, and then he was dead. And that was the end of the Fast wow. and the Furious. And like in just like Back to the Future style, he just starts disappearing from all the movies that <laughs> <laughs> all the sequels that came out. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, exactly. It's like Back to the Future. The is photo so, is he in the hospital? And then like he goes to get visited. Then he's not him. He escaped or something. See, yeah, so I'm trying there's to remember if there's a, if there's the escape bit is this movie or if it's a different one because it's always cat they and do mouse, arrest him yeah. and there's like he's on. The, there's like a scene I, again. I don't remember which movie it's from. If it's from this one, if but this he's movie... on a, a the prison bus, and as they're driving along the road, at, like in the desert and the prison bus, you start hearing a bunch of cars going like, and he like smiles, and you're like, oh shit, they're gonna bust him out. Mm. And now I think that's the end. But and also, Jordana Brewster shows back up to Paul Walker. And she's like, I forgive you for lying to all of us and getting my brother almost killed and arrested. It's no problem. We can be together. Well, love is love. Love is. And he's like, love. thanks, Mia. Mia. That's her name in the movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm realizing I don't remember a lot about this mm-hmm. movie. I mean, I don't expect you to. Races. Again, it's not. It's not. I mean, you only need I mean, to I watch this movie to kick off the franchise. I remember the desert <laughs> stuff. I remember some of the carjackings with the semi trucks. Mm-hmm. No clue how it ends. So my version of the ending: Vin Diesel gets T-boned, cut to them in a hospital. There's a guy like head to toe mummy style, dressed up. <laughs> uh-huh. He's got his foot on the thing. Oh shit! Paul Walker. Oh, I love oh, no, exactly. I'm so excited. I want this. Happen. But Paul Walker goes in to like check on him. He finds out it's like another gang member like inside of the thing. Paul Walker goes down to like the car garage and sees like Vin Diesel's like arm thing and like a car missing and then he's like oh Vin Diesel I'll get you next time he looks up and smiles yeah <laughs> catch me if you can <laughs> but did I jog something that's real though out of your memory no, no? I just think that's a great oh. idea I, I know exactly where you were going with it and I was like yes I love every minute of that <laughs> and he was gone in the oh, wind oh man <laughs> it's gonna be really so funny fast. it's funny watching this and movie so and how dated it is versus and, and you know the comparison of you know they go from stealing the DVD players to in like the last one they parachuted in cars out of a cargo plane and the rock threw a torpedo and from do, a nuclear do the submarine. stakes eventually get to like the world's gonna get yes, destroyed absolutely okay What's in the, was that happening in five or six how uh, fast did that happen? seven had charlie's there on in charge of the bizarro dom toretto crew like literally they all of them had a <laughs> counterpart yeah. including jason statham who is, is now a good guy on the team again That's how that works 
And, for a bad wow. guy in a movie, and yeah, they're, they're like trying to steal like a one. Russian nuclear submarine to like hold the world hostage with nukes and something. And they have to go stop him. I it's saw crazy. the I saw the first two and part of the third one, and I don't know what happened with the rest. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for Fast Night. I can't wait to see uh, my boy from Tokyo Drift coming back. I want to see John Cena in this new one. Yes, I'm looking forward to that too. Because I mean, Everybody's The Rock was in a, a fantastic now. edition of the franchise. I can't wait to see John. And John Cena, Cena like too. drives like a car off a cliff through a plane or something crazy yeah. in the trailer. Yep. Well, and I, I mean, know, fast in, into space, into the moon. That's but, the next one. I say fast six. Next one goes. They to they jump space. a car from one building to another building, like two skyscrapers in Dubai. They like. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah. I mean, it happened in got? a movie, so you it's got to be real. There you go. What do you do? Just put it into gear? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you just put it into the last gear no matter how fast you're going. You're, uh, when, you're mid, <laughs> when you're mid-air, you just got to be furiously yeah. shifting in mid-air while you're between the two buildings. So you, you hit the nitrous so and your car does a flip to get more Ooh, distance. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's got to hit a rainbow so it glides. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> fast and furious. Well, we'll see what, what Andy Huber got right. Right. And what we made up and maybe got right. No. In part two. Correct. Brian, this is one of those times when you need to be very clear about what you say. Not if you understand me. Sit down. Tell me what the hell you're doing down here. Oh, shit. What I'm doing. No. I don't... I owe you a 10-second car. And what this is about, this is about race wars. I just went in there, and Hector is going to be running three Honda Civics with spoon engines. And on top of that, he just came into Harry's, and he ordered three T66 turbos with NOS and a Motec system exhaust. So what are you saying? You're gonna go around and check everybody's shit out? One garage after another? Yeah. Because Dom, you know, I can't lose again. Welcome back to the Live Your Life a Quarter Mile at a Time podcast. We watch Too Fast, nope, not Too Fast, The Fast and The Furious. I watch Too Fast, Too Furious. I- you, well, you, you okay? Yeah, you did watch the second one as well. Yeah, yeah. I felt like I had to. Why? Because this one just left you with like that much. On <laughs> I edge. wanted more after this movie. There is a cliffhanger <laughs> at the end of the, the Fast and the Furious. You don't know where Vin Diesel went, and you yeah, don't find out for two more movies. Didn't we say that he died? No, no. I, there's no way we said no, he died. We said he died in no, part one. We did nine we did nine. And then we said he came back. We, we said we he went to a he hospital. Guys, we said he got arrested. And then okay. I thought I thought there was the breakout where he's on a prison bus, but that happens in. <laughs> oh I think, my god! I think that happens at the end of Fast Five. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, None of that happened. All this he did one, was just like get wrecked and then like drove away. There are a few people yeah. that do die in this. There are, yeah. Some you know, quote unquote, main cast. Yeah, I'd mm-hmm. say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your favorite guy, Johnny Tran. Johnny Tran died at the end. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, he got shot. He from, got like, shot far and then away. he fell off his bike and then there he goes. That's that like an iconic shot yeah. where Paul Walker drifts his car sideways and then just like pow, pow, yeah, pow, that's a pretty sweet shot. That was a cool looking shot. And if I knew there were gonna be nine more movies, I'm like, don't kill my character off. I want to make. I want to be in those other movies. You right. Want, I want yeah. paychecks for life. <laughs> See, but they didn't know at the time. They yeah, they couldn't know. have known. They couldn't have known. Johnny Tran didn't have the chance. Oh man! But this is, I will say, without a doubt, the orangest, sweatiest movie I have. Yes, ever it's very seen. orange. <laughs> yes, yes, Michael Bay esque. Yeah. It is. Oh my god, he must have been like. Yeah. It's a lot of sunsets. Oh man! Hey, Rob Cohen also People did glistening. Stealth, which is also a very orange film. I don't know if oh, anyone ever saw Stealth. I, I haven't stealth. seen it, but that's Jamie Fox and like yeah. Jessica Biel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it yeah. came out a few years after this. I think movie. It was, yeah, How Did This Get Made did an episode about it. I believe it tried to be uh, Fast and Furious with planes. Yes, with stealth no. planes. Okay. I think that's right. Like the pitch for that one was definitely like Fast and Furious meets Top Gun. And Triple X is very orange too, which is film after this one with Vin. Yeah, he, I mean, he had a career. He had yeah. a cash cow in Vin Diesel. Oh, like yeah. this <laughs> lifted him up into he's, some I mean, other starring roles. The, the reason he's not in Too Fast is because he was busy doing Triple X. He was oh, like, he's not in Too Fast. No, he's not in Too Fast. He that, doesn't, he, he doesn't oh, even right. have a cameo in Too oh, Fast. Right. He has a cameo in so Tokyo the, Drift. It was a I big deal when he came that. back for the fourth one. I, yeah, yes. because. 
yeah. there was no faith in the series for, for uh, after after three. Yeah, but they were like, let's do it again. Mm-hmm. And his acting is like it's it kind of works for this movie. But to be honest with you, he's got like just two notes. It seems like yeah, I do grumbly, man. <laughs> yeah, and angry. Yeah. My dad used to drive grumbly this car or and angry as a little kid. And you gotta stay away from Mia. <laughs> 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 it's kind of like Harrison Ford a little bit. Yeah, little yeah, bit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's not a bad Get him to be Indiana Jones. Ooh. I'd watch that. <laughs> of course you I would. I live my life an artifact at a time. <laughs> so, I mean, this artifact is, so- is family! <laughs> <laughs> And if you're family, you got to sleep with each other because that's the the moral oh I get from God. this film. Everyone's sleeping with each other. Vin Diesel sleeps yeah. with Johnny Tran's sister. Yeah. Then Paul Walker oh. sleeps with Vin Diesel's sister. Yeah, because the family. I'm sure Michelle Rodriguez fits into it somewhere. <laughs> you know, they all got to they they got to stay together. The family that oh stays my. together lays what? together. <laughs> <laughs> what? Man. Is that the Olive Garden slogan? That's yes. <laughs> yes, I think that I think it is. That sounds right to me. And breadsticks. <laughs> oh man. How about the music though? Music oh, is great. I love the music. There's like <laughs> there's every, like 40 songs in this movie. Every scene gets its own song. Every scene gets its own song and the and the song lasts for like 10 seconds. And then it's <laughs> well, over. And every Fades song out. is just like There's some there's some real hits in there too. Oh yeah. And Ludacris is in this movie, even though he's not in this movie. Oh, he's got a song in the movie. He's got a song in this movie. Ja Rule is All both right. in ja the movie. Ja Rule is in the movie. He's the, the hip-hop <laughs> he's guy. Double up. Unnamed hip-hop guy from part one that I was like, it's some other guy. Because I'm an idiot. That ja Rule is... Uh, we, uh, what, what is his character? He wants... You know, to get laid. Yeah. yeah. He wants to drive cars. He wants fast. a threesome. There's a weird part where a lady like comes to his window right before a big She's race. Got a lot yeah. of like not great makeup on, but it's yeah. like perfect for 2001. There's some questionable looks in the film for yeah. the women and the men, but <laughs> yes. the male gaze is a big yeah. one. Again, going back to that, I wish I was Michael Bay. <laughs> <They're> not, <laughs> There's a lot of male gaze. They, in they this did movie. not choose all attractive people to be no, you know, extras in this movie. There That's are some. True. There's some questionable people out right. here. But when the camera starts, you're like, this person's looking good. And the yeah, camera yeah, gets a little yeah. higher. Like like, at the, oh, at the oh, knees. oh, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this poor woman. Oh. But you're right about the, the, the bit with Ja Rule. Because, yeah, the, lady, the one lady's like, don't worry. Even if you lose, I'm going home with you. And she but doesn't. And she's also going home no. with you. And then yeah, at the end, she's like, get out of here. I don't like you. I don't date losers. Yeah. yeah. But you said. And, oh, and everybody's like, oh. oh. So is he like a leader of a gang, and that first ja big race is like the gang leaders racing? Because isn't Johnny Tran in that? And then we got no, the Vin Diesel. It's a it's a different Asian guy. Different Asian guy. Who is playing the- Gran Turismo in his car? Oh, that's yeah, true. I forgot. I forgot. I about forgot that. Before that the race, guy. he's okay. just playing Gran Turismo. Um, yeah, and then it's yeah Vin Diesel and pa- and Paul Walker shows up at the end, and then we didn't even mention it all in part one. Hector as like his mm-hmm. his own gang of car dudes. Yeah. Um, yeah, they each have like their own little like race group. Uh, I'm trying to remember what I feel like. Vin Diesel has a name. Oh, because it comes up. I feel like where they're like it's it's not a gang. When he's on his date with me, it's Mia, family. He's like, he's like, <laughs> so the gang all good together. She's like, it's oh not yeah, a gang. It's a team. Yeah, yeah. Mia, says everyone's that. equal. <laughs> except everyone relies on. Yeah, Vin except Diesel. except I'm definitely the leader. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> without a doubt, who's calling the shots and planning the heists and. <laughs> and in order to get into the thing. team, you got to kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, it's a team. It's not a gang. It's a team. Not, you don't do that in gang. Wait, can you look at my definition meanwhile, of gang yeah, real quick? Meanwhile, Johnny Tran's rolling around on a motorcycle, <laughs> shooting people all day. Like, oh yeah, not a gang. It's a team, guys. <laughs> Man, he just. He's got like what is that a submachine gun? He's just yeah. like rolling around, just like or whatever. Just just laying out a whole block. Yeah, doesn't even care. All the bullets in the world just flying out into those neighborhoods. That's a hard gun to aim. I tell you what, it just like yeah. spurts that's, those. That's why it goes there. just yeah. like straight across. It's you the drive by gun. It. That's true. There's you cannot right shoot that, that gun one handed. Yeah, you can. It's just you know it's not accurate. <laughs> You're gonna be shooting up or something. It's not really a gun movie, though. He shoots so many things many with guns. that gun in this movie. He blows up Brian's first car with it. Yep. 
after the first race. I thought the engine, oh yeah, I thought the engine was toast, and that's why they had to make the new car. But yeah. no, like he saves Vin Diesel from the police busting up the first street race, and then Johnny Tran like ambushes them and is like, "Follow us!" And they go to in front of his family store and then shoot guns into their car, and it blows up because of the Nas. Because of the Nas, yeah, of the Nas guys. There's too much Nas. Too his much car. Nas. People keep telling Brian he's gonna blow himself up with all that Nas. Like it happens like three times in this. But video. someone else blow him up with all that Nas. Yeah. So does like Paul Walker know what he's doing when it comes to racing cars? It doesn't or seem is like he, it. Is, <laughs> he he has like a, a a moment before everything kicks oh. off where he's on like a racetrack. Like as a yeah, police a officer, out. is he like just being thrown into this project, right. or is he well, coming with some kind of expertise? This seems like knowledge? he's coming into it. Like I thought in part one, I'd mentioned that he like gets a car from Impound, but that doesn't happen. I think until four. This movie, like, he just has this car and he's yeah. like practicing racing with it in the beginning. And then later, he finds he's another in car race. too. Later. Yeah, yeah, right. He finds well, the Supra. Well, well the, I mean, even like asking that question is like wrong because we don't really know because the whole him being a police officer is secretive until like 30 right. minutes. It seems into like the movie. he's never raced in his life for realsies because when he does do that first race with Vin Diesel, he's like a kid in a candy store. Yes. He's like he drives, so excited just to be a part he of it. He just passed the line and so everyone right. laughs at mm-hmm. him because he didn't know to stop. And yeah. then he, he's yeah. like riding like the he adrenaline. He's like he, he got fourth, he got last, yeah. but he's like so like. Like, and he's not pumped no, he up. playing he got dumb. Second place. Just, oh, he got second. Okay. Yeah, but he's like so like pumped up that like he, he doesn't so care that he lost. He's so excited at the end of that race. I love his face. He's just like, yeah, all right. It was a great race. Dude, I almost had you. <laughs> you almost had me. You never had me. You never had your car. <laughs> Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. You're lucky that 100 shot of Nas didn't blow the welds on the intake. Nice job. Almost had me. <laughs> now me and the mad scientist got to rip apart the block and replace the piston rings you fried. <laughs> Ask any racer, any real racer. It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. Did I cut you off? No. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you driving past me? Here, cut me Here. off like Paul Walker. <laughs> yeah. Can we also talk about the clothes in this movie? We have to talk you about want, the Or the lack thereof. Yeah. If you're leather, a man, you leather tear pants? Those? Are you into leather pants? <laughs> your dudes, on a woman. The dudes yeah. in this movie have too much clothes, no. and then the women in this movie have too <laughs> no. less clothes. You're telling me you're not into leather pants? Yeah, no, no, oh huh. boy, it's a lot of leather what pants. What about warm. like uh, warm outfit? What about like midriffs? Because like every single girl is wearing a midriff. Yeah, you definitely want to see some belly. You need those leather this, pants for the bit where like Vin Diesel time. picks up. Uh, uh, Michelle Rodriguez by her butt like that. That doesn't that yeah. doesn't work without leather pants. We could, Come on, we gotta talk about that All scene right. when we get Andy's to it. I've picking got some ladies up by their leather pants. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some thoughts about all that montage that happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, what montage? There's a montage. You don't remember Wait, the montage? No, no, no. Just uh, tell me a little bit. So okay, I well, can it's so, sort of in the middle of the film. I think it's like Paul Walker putting the heist together to like bust Johnny Tran, but they have just like a lot of unused footage That's from the right. movie. It's, it's right when it doesn't make any sense. And like we shot this sex scene with Michelle Rodriguez and Vin Diesel. We're just gonna like lump it Throw into it the in montage. There. Like, we don't have any place to put it. There's definitely, like, I was like a dialogue scene that happened during there that they just don't need. Mm. <laughs> I think they needed some sex in there. From... There's just a lot of, like, unused footage that this we're just like, This is a sexy movie with there. very little sex in it. Yeah, there's, like, almost no yeah. sex. Well, the cars you are kind of kissing. having sex, That's right? That's true. And they're, Ooh, they're, I mean, they're straight. <laughs> well, and the cars are family. <laughs> they're family. <laughs> Vin Diesel's got his dad's yeah. car. Jesse has his dad's car. Everyone's got their family car. It's all built up into a NAS release. Ooh. And everyone explodes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but yeah, midriffs are all over this movie. Tokyo and drifts. And low-rise jeans. You see some, like, hints of butt crack in a lot, yeah, a lot of the poor I'm not crazy about low-rise jeans. No. And Jordana Brewster's wearing them, and she's, like, over a counter with, like, a little shirt on. Oh, you're yeah. like, oh. It's like every Everyone single knows what they're seat. doing She here. has to wear those pants the entire time. Another movie. Michael yeah. Bay-esque shot. I mean, they were trying. There's definitely moments where, like, there's even a call-out moment where she, like, throws a shirt at a camera because they just want to get some, like, oh, yeah, clips she's of some, like, some it, ladies. Yeah, yeah, because Paul Walker, like, shows up at a party that she didn't know yeah. he was going to show she's up like, at. She's like, oh, so she's like, oh, God, I got to. Yeah, so she's, like, taking off. Like, she was looked like she was ready to go to bed. She was, yeah. like, studying. With she wasn't even, like, partying. Going to bed. 
bed. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, I'm going to show up. Literally pops her shirt off towards the camera so we don't get to see anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just glimpses. All you get is just little tastes, little glimpses. Yeah. Sure. So you, you mentioned, you, the full package. Uh, you sort of mentioned already, but we don't find out Brian's a cop until like 30 minutes in. I thought, yeah, like, I thought yeah, this movie yeah. opened with no. like him be no. going undercover, but no. no, he starts undercover, and the audience doesn't even know until, and he then gets he pulled over is taken to the coolest police hangout pad. Yeah, that's not a police station at all. <laughs> it's just like a house with yeah. like a pool. It's a pool house, crazy Hollywood mansion. It's got Up like on a, the hills. I yeah. like the police chief there, who is like super healthy, health conscious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't give that man a cigarette. Yeah. You want a cigarette? No, he, he's, he, he quits. quits. Okay. It's like you think these are going to be like the rough and tough, like, yeah, get on that case, Maverick, or else I'm going to bust your ass. But it's like, like, no, a, everyone's like get coddling a almost. Cappuccino. Is that yeah. like a California non- thing? Because California is really focused on like health. It's trying to say something for sure. Yeah. Right? And this is also like around the time that like uh, all these states started banning smoking in restaurants and stuff. So I think there was like oh, a... Oh, I didn't even make that connection. Mm. Yeah, like that started like I think the first time I remember that was in Florida, going to visit my grandparents, and they were like, "Oh, this is a restaurant that you cannot smoke it's in." And gr- I was like, "What?" Because <laughs> I hated restaurants. Because like, you were like, "I, I need to smoke." I, with I'm my allergic. Dinner. Honestly, I'm allergic smoke. to cigarette yeah. smoke as well, mm-hmm. and I can I feel like I cannot breathe out of my nose when I'm around. Going it. to a bowling alley so was, in the '90s was, was nice. a nightmare for me. Yeah, yeah <laughs> like oh, I hated going to restaurants tough. with like a either had, be a smoking section and non-smoking section. It's all smoking. I had the reverse situation. Situation not too long ago, I went to on a vacation to Texas, and like we went to the first restaurant I went to, they're like, "You want smoking or not smoking?" And I stopped. I was like, "Wait, what? Like, what do you, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. that's still a thing here? Like, I, I yeah. it's been so long since I dealt with that that I had forgotten that was a question that you used I, to get asked." And then you pick the smoking just for the nostalgia of it, so you can just like <laughs> yeah, smell yeah, that like, smoke you know again. What? It's you know what? It's nice. We should that's bring so this back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then, it's just uh, <laughs> like it's it's interesting too, like how quickly that changed as well. Mm-hmm. Like in a ten year period, I think like almost every single state had a, yeah. a ban on smoking in most places or at least restaurants. And then New York with. tried to do sugar, and then everyone else was like, "Nah, we're not doing that one." <laughs> yep. Yeah, New York, you have that one. We're not doing it. They're like, "Look, <laughs> we're taking away a lot already. Get, you leave us the sugar." <laughs> yeah, that's that, one Jew. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I remember that. <laughs> Oh, man. So, Brad mm. did successfully think that they suspect that he is, in fact, an undercover cop. Yeah, they do. The, they do. I thought they... That well, he has a, a rival in well, this Well, they film. have to. Oh, well, yeah. He's a cop already, so, so they have to have a scene where they... One of Vin Diesel's uh, cronies yeah. like, is like immediately like, he's a he's a cop. Like, yeah. Is it, any isn't harm. that Vince? Uh, yes, that's Vince. Vince. Vince is the Vince. one who's like, Leon, from the beginning, yeah, like, does not like Leon is the other one like who him. disappears and never comes back in another movie, and I'm real mad about it. As soon as I saw Vince, I thought, this guy is like Wolverine. If you, <laughs> yeah. just, oh. if you just shave, I could a, see that. you know, mutton chops or mm-hmm. whatever it is. He could pull that he, off. He, he, he's like Wolverine. I'd love to see him be Wolverine. That'd he's awesome. wearing the tank top. Like, oh, the entire, yeah. like there's so many tank tops he's a, he's in this movie. Oh, yeah. He comes back in Fast Five. Really? Really? Yeah. I don't remember that. He's also in Blade as one of the dudes, I'm guessing. Ooh. And he's right. in The Transporter. He is in The Transporter. Look at that. All right. I actually have not seen the transporter. Oh, I know, and I I want to, and that's I still a, want to because I know it's good. It's yeah. a good one, but it's Just also never got around to of it. the time. I'm yeah, sure. it is. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. If you you might have missed it. Honestly, I felt this movie was a little of the time. To be honest with you, I yeah. I, I liked did it not in that like all of like the over macho ness in this it, movie. Yeah, yeah. A lot it, of it was like ship. it was way too mm-hmm. thick, and I was I was like everybody's a dick in this movie. Oh yeah, everyone's got to yeah. be the top. And dog. I did not really like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everyone's doubtful of each other or mean to each Everybody's other. Everybody's got to prove something before yeah. they can get I mean, get Vin respect. Diesel has this whole line of, like, if you're not first, like, like f- you're last. first is everything, basically. <laughs> if you're not first, he, he you're last. He basically does that, yeah. He's like, you But know, he's also like, if you don't, if you win by an inch or a mile, it doesn't winning matter. It's is like, well, winning. he seems a little con- be like, really? Because confusing. a close race, I think, is different than a not close race, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it works for Vin Diesel and, like, the character that he portrays in all of his other movies yeah but i don't know it's very it's like flat to me and there's yeah i don't know and he talked like living your life a quarter mile at a time it all just feels very <laughs> like high schooly like this this period from when my age of 21 to 23 except all the actors are like in their 30s is the most important time of my life and you're like bro you have so much other shit that's gonna happen <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. I think when this movie came out, like high school, pe- like around me, like it became part of their identity. Oh, like for the sure. Fast yeah. and the Furious yeah. identity. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, car this culture was became huge. huge. Yeah. I mean, car yeah. culture was already thing, which is why the movie got made. But this got so many people to just, yeah, make it their entire personality. Mm-hmm. Well, the other thing, too, is like America is such a car culture country anyway. Right. And yeah. so, like, if you just make a movie about cars, you already got like probably most of the country on your side. That's, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, that's pretty easy sell right there. Disney figured it out. The With cars. cars, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, okay, I I gotta ask this: Is Nas allowed in this movie? Is in the, that... you, do you mean like just by law, like, or like in these? Okay. Races, he buys it or... in an official mechanic shop yeah. or whatever. It's just like in like a display case. Yep. He does. That he works at a, so at a shop because he's like he undercover at stuff. the parts shop because the parts owner like was threatened with being arrested for t- t- receiving illegal car parts. So he has to employ Brian, and Brian's just walking around the shop like, "I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need two of those." And I'm like, "This poor dude's gonna be like thousands of dollars in debt." By Don't the you think the this. police station's police like station probably for pays for that? <laughs> Heck I no, are you kidding me? They didn't even pay <laughs> for that mansion off. there, and they seized that mansion. That's for all right <laughs> off. You can write off that now. Oh man, that's for police work. Just like, and then he's driving that truck around the entire... Even when he's sneaking around, he's driving his work truck there with, like, yeah. I work at Harry's Auto Parts in my Ford Lightning that's bright red that everyone will know is my car. Yeah. And he, like... There's that one part where he pulls up to the Harry's in that truck and just slams it into the curb. <laughs> He does, yeah. <laughs> it's like, treat the stuff with you know, some care, okay? But like my the worst employee. <laughs> my question is, like... Are you allowed to use Nas in a race? Because yeah. it seems that I think it's frowned upon, but it doesn't seem to be regulated. It seems like everyone it's, has some it people are secretive, and some like people are mentions not. it when he opens up Paul Walker's hood. It's yeah. Like, oh, you got a lot of Nas in there. But then he pretends he doesn't have yeah, it because it's like, underneath a seat. I think it's got to be just a straight up metaphor for steroids, right? In the, yeah. Oh, that's a good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, think yeah, so. Yeah. Right. It's like, oh, you use that, but then everyone like secretly uses yeah. it also. And then like, well, but they judge you for using it too. Right. And it's like whoever uses it first loses. But then everybody uses it. Yeah. Yeah, yes. It's like how, oh. what, when do you press the button? Yeah, and I, I'm Nas sad button. because I, I, I had a mistake in part one, which hmm? I couldn't believe. Which Andy was, made a mistake? Vin Diesel's not the one that says too soon, Junior. Johnny Tran says that when he's racing Jesse. He's like, <laughs> he does. Too soon, Junior, and then hits his Nas and then wins the race. So, okay, then, like, literally, that means all the races hinge on when you press the button. It also seems to be hit a lot. <laughs> it's kind of lame. Like, yeah. Paul Walker hits it a couple times. It's not like just, like, a one That's and done well, kind of thing. He has two. He has, like, one yeah, tank, so, and so he can blow tank. two. Each tank. Oh, he yeah. can blow two tanks at the same time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> in, in I could have sworn he uses it, like, three times. In Too Fast, he definitely uses it three times in the same race. And three like, thrasts? Yeah, working. Yeah, wow. three thrasts. You know, it's got to just be my childhood brain, but I just think of like a mushroom in Mario Kart. It's like yeah. hitting oh, the mushroom, yeah. you know? Yeah. Go to warp. It's like the gold the mushroom can- where you could just like oh. mash it. The freaking it. camera effect. Yeah. It also goes into it, like, like Star Wars warp speed when yeah. they do it. Right. The it's camera insane. warps all funny. Yeah, it goes into light <laughs> light speed and it's like green and purple. The special effects are used sparingly, but like specifically for those like big race scenes where yeah. just like weird things start to happen. Like the yeah. the camera gets all wonky and then like zooms in and through a piston. Yep. Oh, yep. Like, like yeah. I was saying, I was yeah. saying which we talked about in part one. In part one yeah. It's like Fight Club. <laughs> yep. They do a, a, a pretend like an homage shot in Too Fast to that one. It's like the fastest fly through of the car bits, yeah. but it, in that one, it involves a lot of wires and electronics. And I think uh, that that has to do more with the movie itself. But when you're looking at a car, it's usually like normal. But as soon as they like they get the driver like in there, like stuff gets to happen. Oh, it turns man. into speed racer. I want to see like that somebody make a movie and they do that shot, but it's just with an electric car. <laughs> it's like going through, but then you it's find out silent, it's an electric it's car. Like, yeah, they, yeah, it's uh, like, they hit the super battery button and it's just like, <laughs> and there's, yeah, no, there's sound. no sound. <laughs> Crazy off topic, but they do have like the miniature cars that like go really, really fast, and they do put like cameras in them, and it's, oh, yeah. it's kind of incredible to like see them like move around the courses. Oh, it's, that's it's fun. better than watching NASCAR, in my opinion. That's fun. Yeah, that's the really cars fun. can like hit like the super speed and stuff. Yeah, uh, little baby cars. So Brad called mm. something from part one where he thought that Brian remember. told Mia he's a cop early, and I said no, he has the reveal. Both are true. Yes, it's, t- but it's at the about an hour mark. It happens. Yeah. So at race wars, Dom leaves. Race wars, and that's when he just like <laughs> I, runs up to me and he's like, "Where's Dom going? I'm a cop. Get to where is he going?" <laughs> like, yeah. And she doesn't believe him, but then gets to go along with Well, there's something about you're the only one that can save him, Mia. The truckers are going to kill him, Mia. Yeah, I think like there was just like an everybody had this like air of like something was going to go wrong, mm-hmm. even though 
it wasn't really talked about exactly why right. it was going to go wrong, except for maybe the fact that like they were missing one. Person. Yeah, because Jesse was gone. They were like, it feel but like, like Paul dumb. Walker Leon felt like was it was like, like no they were going to die. And he brought like the information about like the truckers having shotguns, even yeah. though that was I don't think talked about before. They, like they offhandedly, the one of the police guys mentions he's like truckers are going to start taking matters into their own hands if we don't bring this to an end soon. You're okay. You're right. They did say but, just that one line. But still, he has no reason to think that like it's going to get it's yeah. going to escalate like yeah. that. But he's like, I'm willing to blow my cover for this entire operation because this is the one time that they might die if they hijack a truck. And honestly, it was like the worst. <laughs> The worst hijacking ever. <laughs> mm, everything went wrong. I was just thinking, like, if I was in that guy's position, I would. It's just I don't know what the too. freak I would do. Yeah. 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 There doesn't seem to be a threat of like him wanting to stop like the street racing. He in like I don't know why Vin Diesel would care if he's a cop. Is he doing something illegal that we're unaware of I mean, that matters? But uh, eventually, you don't, want, you don't but, want a narc in your street race. I mean, the I mean, cops do yeah, have I to guess, like bust up every street race. I guess they're he not knows that. To be street racing. But Paul Walker doesn't know that information yet. Yeah. I don't know. It, it seems like with the street racing, like if he was more mad about I them trying to stop the street racing. I think that's happened. more part of a culture thing. I mean, it'd be very much you just like, hate no a cop, cops yeah. in, in street racing because sure. we're illegal, hardcore dudes. Yeah. They're already doing illegal you stuff. You got to win the respect of Vin Diesel, though. When all of his crew bails on him, yeah. Paul Walker's the guy the to pick him up. Buster kept him out of handcuffs. <laughs> to say that. <laughs> that was a weird scene where Vin Diesel like, posturing through a party like grabbing people's beers and like yeah. making everyone else feel like a dick he because really they didn't brought help the, Yeah, he really killed that party. Like, <laughs> Brought the vibe down. Well, dad was in the house. <laughs> dad was in the house. <laughs> He's gotta bring the family back to reality. Familia. You're my family. family. Everybody in this party's family. Oh, man. Now sleep with each other. <laughs> oh, <'cause we're> family. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Yo Dom Why'd you bring the buster here? Cause the buster kept me out of handcuffs He didn't just run back to the fort The buster brought me back You can have any brew you want As long as it's a Corona Thanks man That's Vinci so enjoy it uh, the ending, I, we got the I got the ending very wrong. Yeah, well, sort of. Oh, sort of. We got the, no. end of the race right. So it, it ends uh, right where you right. called it. But All there's the nothing events else after happened, that. Yeah. sort of in a, in a way. Like so, Jesse gets shot up after because Johnny Tran shows up. He died, and that's like he he dead. And Paul Walker takes off after Johnny Tran because he's like, I'm a cop. You just murdered a man in front of me. I'm going to get you. Mm-hmm. And then Vin Diesel's like, he just killed my friend. I'm also going to chase them. But also I need to run away because also Brian's a cop. So all that's happening all at once. They manage to chase down the motorcycle guys. Paul Walker shoots Johnny Tran dead. He gone. In this, in the, he, sw- he Tokyo drifts his car. He does. Yeah. Like sideways a great shop. Yep. And, and then, then just, just right up the unleashes out the like eight bullets into Johnny Tran. <laughs> I thought that scene uh, where Paul Walker had to reveal he was a cop when Jesse, or maybe, no, when Vince was. We should uh, clarify, because yeah, I thought it was when Jesse gets shot in the sidewalk, but it's when Vince, Vince gets yeah, shot. Yeah, Vince gets advised. out the truck, and um, he's he, did a lot get, of blood. he actually did get shot in the leg, they yeah. say, mm-hmm. but with a shotgun, and he's losing a ton of blood. And so Paul Walker has to like blow call his cover him. to call in a chopper. Yeah, yeah. call in a medical. Medical. And I thought I thought the acting like worked out really well. Like Vin Diesel, like the review yeah. was like really kind of good. building up. Like he's anger. mad but happy at the same time. Yeah, he's like, like yeah, he's mad but he knows like, like want to sock him. But he's like my friend's also dying. dying. My yeah. family's dying. Family, family, my family. I can't sleep with this guy anymore. Won't <laughs> 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 be the same. He doesn't have that leg. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I thought that, yeah, I thought that was a nice scene, but, uh, but there's a moment where like Mia has to like pick where she's going to go. And I, ooh, ma- I remember in ooh, Air yeah. Bud go or was it, it Air Bud? Oh, Bud. Um, I may have made the scene up, but just, it's a scene in general where like the dog has to choose which owner to go with. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was Air Bud. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Mia is Air Bud. <laughs> yeah. 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 And yep. Vin Diesel has the, but she's just giving look. Pocket. She's not really yeah. deciding. She's just like, <laughs> and I think she does give Vin, Vin Diesel a look like, don't get angry. You know, but she goes to Vin Diesel. He, she gone, uh, which I thought. She's I family. Thought, I thought they ended up together at the end of the movie, but no, she's like, "You cop, I'm gone." I don't think Mia shows up again. After she does. That they get married later. In that movie? No, not in this movie. Other <laughs> in the franchise, because they're family. So they got to make it legal. Yeah, they're family. You know, so well, they, they, they can... be literally become family. Yes. then. Yeah. <laughs> well, there always were. 
A man and a wife sleeping with each other. That's like sleeping with your family. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> That's a, that's a weird thought. Okay. Wait, wait, <laughs> what? Is that, is that right? A married, is that a married right? couple is our, our family and they sleep with each other? Oh, with I get it. That is incest. Yeah. When a, when a, when a guy and a When a husband and a married, wife lay together. Yeah. That's not good. See, it's wrong. You it's, know, just it's, not, it's just wrong. The church doesn't like it. <laughs> we should do a political <laughs> podcast. We're so naive. <laughs> Everything's literal. It's very yeah. literal. Yeah. We just don't get it. We just do not understand. Mm-mm. Oh, man. Dom gets away. Brian gives him his car, his, his Supra. Yeah, you got all yeah. the stuff with, like, the train right. I thought he got our, Yeah, that's right. We, and they, they pass the, the train, train. And then he gets sideswiped by a giant truck. Yeah, and then he says, like, the, the line, like, I didn't think that was going to happen. I did, yeah, I didn't think that was going to happen. <laughs> I was like, okay. No, did. I love his face. When Brian sees, the, so many sees the truck and Vin Diesel's like, what's he looking at? Oh, my God. It just ramps off that truck front end and flips it like flips 12 so times. so many times. Vin, Vin Diesel just like gets out of the car, gets pulled destroys out. Destroys his Walker. dad's car. Yeah. All these people's dad's cars are getting wrecked. Paul Walker gives him the keys to his car, and then Vin Diesel rides off into the sunset, literally. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So he just lets him go. There's no prison bus scene. That's a different one. I think Fast Five is four. Where that happens. Number four. It might be four. I think. It's well, five. Brad was saying. I think it's the end of Vin five. Diesel comes back in number four. Mm-hmm. So it's got to be that one. Like he's on the lamb still. They find him and like bring him back in, saying they can. The trailer the for number charges. four is them doing another heist on a truck. Yeah. So he's somewhere in that. Maybe it's at the at the end. Maybe that's the big heist scene at it's, the end. But. Is it- is that the gas truck heist? Is that four? Yeah. I thought that was five. Maybe no, it's four. No, it's okay. four. Hmm. The gas truck heist is pretty nuts. Because it's one of the coolest trailers like ever because it's literally just like a three-minute scene of the film. Yeah, it's just, the, it's just like yeah. the opening heist scene. Yeah, yeah. it's but really But it's the good. trailer for the whole film. It's pretty good. Like, we're shooting real stunts now, guys. They did. They moved to like actual go. cars and stuff. They did it in Tokyo Drift, actually. That was kind of where the, they made the change from like the goofy soundstage weird VFX cars to like... We're going to actually hire stunt drivers to actually drive cars. And hey, what do you know? People actually respond to that pretty well. Mm-hmm. There's yep. a couple of stunt people in here. That Paul Walker stunt double that you found. <laughs> oh, yeah. When he's There's also like a dude as Mia, like in the driver's seat on a, with like a wig. <laughs> you wear the big wig. I was looking at Paul Walker yeah. and I could tell like he would be like, oh, like this Paul Walker buff, suddenly like, lost half his hair. <laughs> he, got, he got crazy <laughs> buff. Like, well, it was also weird because like obviously they were going fast and the hair was blowing back. And so when they did cut back to Paul Walker, his hair was also blowing back perfectly. And so I was like, it matched, but you could tell the face was way wrong. Yeah. I'm not jumping car to car. Oh, Get that Hell no. guy in there. I don't think that would work yeah. at all. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the physics <laughs> makes the any sense. Four. Get them over there. Yikes. Oh, man. Do you guys think like Paul Walker? Like what kind of cop is Paul Walker? <laughs> He infiltrates a group he and then he doesn't to, help. He, he doesn't help the police arrest any of them. He wants to become a detective, right? Like That's, he's like yeah, the FBI he guy. Keeps, well, you know, case he gets promoted. Maybe the FBI guy was just saying that because he assumed that's what like all the cops wanted. But Brian never seems to ex- like to express any interest in that. But the FBI is like, you want that detective badge, right? Make this case for me, and I'll get it for you because I'm the FBI. We do that. Yeah, so like, you got thirty six hours to get them to me. I mean, the FBI guy comes back at number two. There could have been a little more inner turmoil with like Brian, maybe like deciding to go to the dark side, like becoming a criminal, but not. There's never. never really I feel like there's that. never an indication no. that he really mm-hmm. cares about being a cop. Like <laughs> it really doesn't seem that he's just using interested. the cop stuff to like get sweet parts yeah, for the he car. Yeah, gets into the car and with and family. And, yeah, yeah. How yeah. is he gonna hook up with that family? You're getting too close to me. Because he O'Brien. doesn't even like help them arrest any of them at the end. He does. Do you know, okay, like so they he gets do, Johnny Tran, couple of them get well, injured a, by themselves. We didn't bring up Hector well, like, he, at he, all. Yeah, he, part he, one. he, he made sure to kill the ones that didn't matter to him. So part of the story, like when also Brad, the, um, but Johnny Tran was trying to kill him too. Right, yeah, and he did murder Vin, the person, like his group. He had, yeah, like right. Johnny Tran definitely was committing lots of crimes. It wasn't like he murdered Jesse, like, but. Yeah, like there is, but there in in part one we didn't mention Hector, but Brad again successfully guessed that they suspect he's a cop, and that comes in when Hector orders three of everything at at the car parts shop, mm. and so Paul Walker's like three. There were three cars heisting trucks. How did he get the money for three of all these? He pays parts? cash. He's like, here's the cash that like, I have for these three parts that I need. That is definitely <laughs> legitimate. So then, yeah, Paul Walker's yeah. like, ah, we found him. It's Hector. Uh, who has never been anything but nice to Paul Walker? Yeah, he was He's very. A he was the one dude who went over and was like, "Hey, what nice guy car, at the car buddy. Place? It's a pretty cool car you got." Yeah, I thought they were gonna be buds for the film. I thought it was yeah. gonna be like Paul Walker's too. bud. No, Paul Walker's immediately just like criminal. 
Yeah. And then, like, breaks into his shop. And then that's where, like, Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel and, and, Vince, and Vince are there. Yeah. Paul and, Walker jumps up. Uh, Vince fancy is like, see, talk. he's a cop, Vin. Ex- like, are you a cop, just Brian? Just calls him Vin in this now. <laughs> Tell me you're a cop, Brian. Tell it. Are you a kid? He's like, I was just scoping out the competition for race wars. Yeah, he he was like he's like he's got this under the hood and that under the hood and he was he's like I can't he's trying lose to like again. come up with like a story I can't on the lose spot. Again, and then he, he goes into the warehouse where the car is and shows Vin Diesel like the the cars and the engines missing from one of that's the cars. in the Johnny Tran garage. Yeah. And then Johnny Tran comes in. Yeah, with like, like this poor man who's a mechanic who gets treated so poorly. By I thought Johnny he was Tran. a mechanic too. He's a fence, so he he's sells fence. stolen parts. Okay. and so it was like. He like stole the engines, basically. <laughs> Johnny mm-hmm. Tran like puts oil on him. Makes yeah, him kiss he like his makes feet. him drink oil. I was like, how does this guy think that he's not going to see that the engines miss? Right. And yeah. yeah that's and that's also and then I wonder Mr. if he's going to look under the hood. We don't have right. an engine in this car. Mister drives around a motorcycle, shooting guns. Guy isn't going to come after him for not exactly. selling him the engines. Like what the f- exactly? So yeah, and then immediately he's just like they're in the warehouse, and Johnny Tran's like, all right, let's head to the warehouse that we all know where it is. <laughs> like. I maybe this is a moot point because I get this happens in like every single movie, but like if if Paul Walker's a police officer too, like can you shoot at people from like a moving vehicle like as a police officer? I don't I think mean, you're actually allowed to do it that. Depends on department mm. policy, but if they're like an imminent threat or something, or you know, I guess that depends. But they didn't shoot OJ, so I don't know. I yeah, I just don't know if like <laughs> I don't know if you can shoot at somebody on a moving vehicle like that. It Seems was, dangerous. Look, this was the year two thousand one, Andy. You're right. Anything goes. You're you're absolutely. He's undercover. Right. You know. Yeah. He doesn't play by your I rules. Maintain my cover by just shooting into the streets. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> oh man. I'm trying to think if there's. I, that was most of it. I mean, we did pretty good in the part one. We definitely some things we missed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't remember any of the police station place like that hangout. I may have um, never seen this film all the way through. <laughs> yeah, it's first I only saw. It's a good one to catch bits of on TV. Yeah. Like that's where this movie, like I think so too, is all over. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, too fast. It just takes this movie even further into absurdity. Eight million dollars in DVD players in that movie. Oh yeah, I think like yeah, this is like more like a police movie with cars, and then like the rest of them are just like car movies. You know, like sort of. I feel yeah. like they. They they really really like try to lean number, I mean, more they, into in the number car two aspect. they bring Brian back into the police where like he's straight up like just he got fired from the police force and then he moved of course he did to Florida I think the whole yeah. thing takes place in Miami is it like some drug kingpin and it's, he's yeah. like a really rich guy and then like the customs police are trying to take him down and so they get Brian to come in because so, the the drugs guy needs a driver and so he's about to hold auditions for a race driver to transport his stuff and so they're like. The FBI guy comes back. He's like, I know just the guy. And then it's when they bring in Paul Walker. And they're like, "We're gonna, you and this other uh, customs detective are going to go undercover. And Brian's like, tell me what kind of engine goes good in my car. And the the under, other undercover guy's like, uh, 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 that one. He's like, joke's on you. Trick question. Neither of those were real engines. See? I, this will never work. <laughs> and then, and that's and then Tyrese. Tyrese is like, we hungry. Yeah. Breh. <laughs> We hungry, bruh. That's the entire movie. That is, you don't have to even watch it now. You've, you've seen the entire movie. But they also have the police have these crazy electro guns that they disable cars with. Hmm. It's it's insane. The what? second movie goes nuts. It's a lot of fun to watch, but it's it's not good. I don't well, think. that that put Brad to sleep for a movie that's about street racing. There's only like one street race. Yeah. They, oh, they, true. Well, there's, there's a lot of fleeing. There's one, there's yeah, and then there's like race wars. Race wars doesn't count. That's, 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 that's like a sanctioned race. race. That's just a drag okay, race. That was a, yeah. There are people so that like, have to pay to get into race I thought wars. that was funny because, yeah, it's I described it as like Burning Man for racers, and it kind of is, but the, like it's at what appears to be a condemned U.S. air base. But also, they have like actual security people yeah. like working the yeah. gate. Yeah, it seems to be an official. Like, this seems like a real event. Like, yeah, what? Sure, it is. Does Vin and Paul even race at race wars? No. They do, like no. Jesse takes off. Well, and uh, uh, Michelle Michelle Rodriguez has a race. That's right, because she has the little punk dude who's just like, "Hey, baby, I'm gonna and she's sex like, you." And see she's ya. Like, Bye. <laughs> Give me your car or your money at least. I was like, "How much money did they make at Race Wars?" Because she made a good amount. Yeah, to, she said like two Gs or is something. Is they there to like oh. just make money? Like, because you're right, there did not seem to be from their crew a, a lot of racing happening at Race Wars. <laughs> Mm-mm. It should no. have been like they're like the five time champs or something, and they right. got a holder title, and like Paul Walker beat Summer. I don't know. Well, yeah. they, they, they could do they race wars the, better. Is what they made I'm the saying. scene about like Jesse like running away and like it's, leaving. It, yeah. like, it be, the scene became. They that. could have done that anywhere. They could have done that in the street. 
Could I know a street racing scene. Yeah, I love a competition, and I didn't get it. Is what I'm saying. Mm, right. I want a Fast and the Furious competition tournament movie where I get to see who is the best racer out of all these actors. Without, no Nas. Yeah, just the best driver. But then you could use Nas if you're using it illegally. Of course, it's fine. yeah. You why haven't they no made Nas like unless a, you use it. <laughs> why haven't they made like a Fast and Furious video game? They have. It's not. They great. have. I mean, yeah. they had. It's not good. The Need for Speed series already exists. It tries to be like Grand Theft Auto, the and it's just not. It's just not good. Yeah, if you want Fast and Furious video game, just play Need for Speed, like Most Wanted or Underground. I see. Okay. Both of those are like the same. Nice idea. But I do want like a, a battle car video yeah. game, which is what I think yeah. maybe you're leading yeah, yeah, to. Yeah. Like a where mo- you could play as the Rock. Yeah, like a Street Fighter, but you put you pick the like Rock and he's like in Diesel. a car oh, yeah, or Twisted man. Metal. Even. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Twisted Metal, like, great. Right. <laughs> Vigilante Eight, like from N sixty four. I mean, those, yeah. yeah, Destruction like, Derby. I need more car killer games. Car killer games. <laughs> so <laughs> like well, Chris, Christine Metal, the movie, Christine the movie, the oh, video game. Go, yeah, Christine the movie, the video game. The board game. <laughs> the board game? <laughs> based, yeah. based on the movie, based on the game. book. <laughs> oh, man. I did look up. <laughs> based on the note that Stephen King wrote at this diner <laughs> on one a morning. Napkin. <laughs> so, yeah. There's a photo of it. He used this pen. And, and it just this says, pen made it just Christine. says, car alive. <laughs> <laughs> I did look up the titles, the actual based official on titles car alive. to all of the, the movies. Cause, and, and there is very little consistency. They don't un- know what they should be naming these. Because mm-hmm. this one is, in fact, The Fast and The there, Furious. There is a, the two thes. And the double yes, it, it's important because that comes back. Because the second one, Too Fast, Too Furious. Then The Fast and The Furious. But Too Tokyo Fast, Drift. Too Furious does have two twos in there? Is yes. The, is one no, two, 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 it's okay. two. Too, too two, fast. 22 Fast, too fast furious. furious. Yep. And Fast Furious Tokyo Drift. And it's then there a, is. It's Princess. The fourth movie is Fast and Furious. They dropped they drop the, the buzz. That's the cleaner that way. Yeah. Clean. Yep. And then <laughs> Fast Five. It's just, it's just Fast Five. This is really confusing. Fast. And then Fast and Furious Six. Okay. So Wait, now fa- they're actually. It's called Fast and Furious With an six. ampersand. Yep. And, and they just titled the sixth one. That has not been a thing yet. They had Fast and Furious as number four, Fast Five, then Fast and Furious okay. Six. That's interesting. And then Furious Seven. So it's sort of like Fast Five, they went with the second half. And then Fate Furious of the seven. Furious. And then Fate of the Furious, because Brad was right. Movie number eight, you can have yeah. an F8, Fate mm-hmm. of the Furious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. Oh, my goodness, these titles. I like and that they kept the number third nine's one around. coming, or is there not a number yeah. nine? Yeah, no, there, there's apparently, according to IMDb, there's going to be 11. I thought there was only supposed to be 10. But F9 is supposed it's to be coming a, it's out. It's made. It's just not out there yeah, yet. Yeah, it's, it's made yeah. and done. They're just waiting for theaters to John open. John Cena drives a car through an airplane or something. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that sounds oh, uh, man. Sounds like it's on target. <laughs> people hated that third movie. but they, they, I they, love People Tokyo found Drift. love for Tokyo it. Tokyo Drift is my favorite When it first one. came out, it was a joke. It, it was. was. It, it was absolutely the, was a joke. It was a joke Nobody of knew a what drifting was before that movie came out. No one had heard of Japan at all. The, yeah. That didn't exist until that movie I don't think came. either of these facts are true. No, these are fake. Yeah, and they also casted an actor that was kind of like Paul Walker, yeah, like Paul Walker's dumb little brother, like plays the character from Texas, yeah, yeah. dumb Walker. <laughs> Which is funny because Paul Walker's Paul brother Crawler. does come back in Fate of the Furious because after that guy comes back, Paul Walker died. They had his oh, brother true. actually stand in for him in some scenes, and then they that gets confusing. Paul, oh, Paul Walker's right. face on and they did like and a Bruce Lee. Brian doesn't die. Do Canon. He goes off into the sunset. He does. He goes off. In the He's sunset still alive with, uh, in the and universe. They have a family, and Dom's like, "We can't call Brian anymore <laughs> because <laughs> Brian and Mia have a great life, and we can't disturb them." Like that's so, Mia's bit. gone now too. It's yeah. a little redundant mm-hmm. that you said they have a family. Andy. It's true. They always they, they are always family. are family. <laughs> Not their family. You're absolutely within, right. It's like a nesting. But now he's yeah he's like it's like, like a nesting. Brian, Brian's inside <laughs> it's a family. Like a inside inside a family inside a family. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> They're all sleeping with each other all the way down. They have to. They're family. <laughs> man. I can't wait for Fast Nine. It's bringing back dude from Tokyo Drift. Han's already back again. I needed him back, which is great. Uh, everyone's coming back. Except for movies. The movies themselves aren't coming I'm back. I'm hoping Ja Rule is back. <laughs> <laughs> they should, like, go, like, all out and bring, like, I don't know, like, uh, Every, superhero and, like, oh, Venom yeah. or something. Just start, yeah, cross- <laughs> bring, start a start crossover with Venom. I mean, it's Universal's biggest franchise. Don't what they, else they should. Got? Start, yeah, King they Kong. Go wild. King Kong in here. Why King not? Kong is in it? For yes. Fast and Furious yes. King Kong. Absolutely. Yes. They're bragging. Yeah. This is number 10. <laughs> <laughs> number 10's going wild. That one needs a video game. Oh, <laughs> yeah. King Kong oh, in yeah. that. It's, it's like Rampage, but also with They're, like, time-traveling and shit. Well, Charlie Theron, we got Jason Statham. Kurt Russell shows up in one of these, doesn't he? He plays a CIA guy. Number eight, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They get high quality actors to be in these films. Oh, yeah. Well, the franchise is like so successful that 
you know, it 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 gets to a point where it just brings the actors to it. Yeah, I mean, naturally. it is. It is. They want to do the project because it's just like a done deal. It's the highest grossing like franchise outside that Disney doesn't own. That's like it is wow. the highest gro- fr- like franchise is that's it not Disney Warner owned. Brothers or Fox. Which uh, one is this? this is Universal. Oh, okay. Uh, you would have known that if you saw the title card. I don't pay attention. Just <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember no, anything. But uh, it's also uh, like the highest grossing franchise that's not based on an existing IP. So the comic well, movies ton of and them. Star Wars. You make also. enough of these things. Like This is the only one that didn't have like an existing IP. It just came out of nowhere. They're just like, cars and people yeah. do the movies. What horror movies were trying to do this whole time with Nightmare on Elm Street and yeah. Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th Fast and Furious took it and they were like, did we it make that work. <laughs> <laughs> and they made Started way more movies. money. I'm oh sure my god! Those movies. Yeah. Thanks for joining us on that episode and every episode that you do. The next movie we're doing has the tagline: "Tonight they're calling the shots." We remember Coyote Ugly. I'm the parent. You're the child running away to live by yourself. I should be telling you how to live. How should I live? Simple, don't go. Good luck. There, I said it. Love you. Put some pepper spray in your purse. Even if you're not sure, just start spraying. Tell me that isn't yours. Of course not. That's a two bedroom. That, uh, there might be a job opening. We start Friday night. You're giving me a job? Coyote Ugly. Why would you name your bar that? Oh, because Cheers was taken. <laughs> Started, okay? No problem. Oh. 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 Okay, I've never had anyone stare at my ass for half an hour, so I'm gonna say good night. Just for the record, I was only staring at the first 15 minutes. Five nights a week. Now shake it! Okay, give me a glass of water. Do it!